My typical day at work, since I'm a manager, is actually working with a group of researchers. And researchers specifically in the field of human-machine interaction have a lot of things to do. So the first thing they have to do is figure out what is it that we're testing? What technology is the key focus of our user study, basically, our experiment with humans? So that could be a simulator. It could be some code that our engineering team has coded that has been loaded in a fake car. And in that fake car, that simulator, we might invite people outside to drive it in a very safe condition so we can test um, in a laboratory setting. So that could be one type of experiment we choose to do. Another type of experiment we can choose to do is in the actual vehicle. So actually going down to the garage and working with the uh, field operations team to make sure that we're following the safety protocols, we're loading the right code we need. And again, inviting those outside participants to sit in that car for the first time and actually drive. Um, and that car-based experiment could be on a closed track or it could be on the public, public road. So our researchers are in lots of different physical places at any one given time, depending upon the type of study or technology they want to study. Um, so that could be one typical day, actually being in the car or in the sim, writing some small bits of code to actually get the experiment set up, get the right part of that technology set up so the humans can come in and test it out. Another part of the day could just be analyzing the data. So after that, that experiment, we collect data such as eye gaze or people's motion on the steering wheel or pedals. And of course, the things that they said, things that they actually told the exper experimenter about their experience. Okay, that was very exciting, or I wasn't sure what the autonomy was doing and actually annotating all that data. So all of that could be um, a day's work or it could be several weeks or even months work of a researcher or a team of research assistants to help sift through and comb through. It really depends again on the research question or technology that's being asked. Also, researchers will take those findings from that data and write reports. So one day or again several days or weeks can be spent writing up the results and really trying to figure out what, exper what experience those humans had, what responses did they give, what is the data showing us in terms of performance is this version of the technology better or is this other one the way that we should go? And oftentimes researchers are called upon to give presentations to share what they have found with the world. And TRI is full of researchers who are very excited to um, share what they have found working in their specific technology niche with other researchers that are working on something similar. So the idea is to share generalizable knowledge. With my role as manager of researchers in the HMI team for driving, I frequently meet one-on-one -on -one with those researchers and figure out what kind of problems they're having, what kind of resources they need or equipment they might need, and my job is there to support um, anything that they might need to run their experiment. Before I wrap up for the day, I actually look at what's coming next tomorrow or the next week and try to make a to-do list of what I need to do as soon as I get in for the next day because oftentimes you just forget. What I do after work to unwind is exercise. So I like to go to spin class or do rowing on my rowing machine or cook a meal for my family and spend time with my three-year-old daughter.